couple months ago, I had a contest going on where I was giving away a lab cache. Geocaching headquarters gave me a couple lab caches because of the Adventure Lab Cache video that I made way back in March. They liked it so much, they gave me a couple lab caches and also said that they could give me a lab cache that I could give away to one of my viewers. I decided to make it a contest to give away to a geocaching vlogger who maybe had a great location in their area that would make for an awesome lab cache. So in this episode here, I'm going to go ahead and announce the winner of that lab cache contest. But first, since I'm here at Brightwater Park, I want to go ahead and take a tour of this place here with you, show you some of the sites and things around here that I used for my lab cache. And I'll show you what goes into setting up a lab cache, going out, scouting out the areas, and then also when you're at home and you have to enter the locations in. Let's go ahead, roll that B-roll, go over that little documentary on how to set up a lab cache. And then, we'll go ahead and announce the winner. And this is the location that I chose, Brightwater Park. I couldn't think of a more important place in my life to have this lab cache at. Since we moved out to this area, Brightwater Park has been a very important part to our lives. We come out here all the time to walk the trails, just to get out, spend some quality time together. There's also some geocaches here, and also lots of virtual monsters that we can catch. You know what game I'm talking about. But this park is amazing. Lots of trails here. Two and a half to three miles worth of trails. There's artwork to look at around here. Ponds. Lots of wildlife out here too. You've seen deer, lots of ducks and geese, and also tons of rabbits. When Geocaching Headquarters gave us this lab cache, I had to choose this location. So I came out here, looked over a bunch of the locations, found some really cool interesting spots with the kiosks and artwork that I can have the lab caches at. I think people are going to really enjoy this park when they come out here and visit it. Park's also been in a lot of my videos. I've done some unboxing videos out here. 
And this bridge here is where I filmed the new intro for our geocaching videos. This is where the hyperlapse portion of it starts off and then goes up the hill. And remember our first Adventure Lab video? <laughs> well, we filmed that here at this bridge. And lots of Pokemon to get too, so the kid and I enjoy coming out here for that as well. And we even came out here and filmed some scenes for our Geocaching International Film Festival entry. Can't wait for you all to see that. Again, this park has been a tremendous part of our lives. Come out here all the time just to walk around, enjoy nature, just to get out of the house, enjoy the scenery, and see some of the animals. It's a great place to visit if you're ever in the area. I think these lab caches would be a great addition to bringing people out. And I think I've got a good set of questions, 10 of them, for you all to figure out. So I'm really excited for you all to come on down to the Brightwater Park and find these lab caches. The questions aren't difficult for people to answer. I want people to come out here, explore and walk the park if they haven't done so before, see some interesting views, and also for them just to have fun out here and maybe learn something. And also when you come out, don't forget to bring your dogs and also to clean up after them, of course. People out here walking their dogs all the time. I can't wait to see you all here. And now that I've shown you some of the locations that I want to feature in this park and also some of the highlights of this park and the beauty that it has, let's check out and see what it takes to actually put a lab cache together. And once I had all the Adventure Lab locations all selected, came home, again, I entered them in on the computer. It's real easy. When you get the notification from geocaching headquarters that you have an Adventure Lab, they will send you a little guide that will walk you through the process to get your location set up. It's really easy to do. First of all, what you need to do is you need to go ahead and set up a multi-cache. You want to go ahead and call it Do Not Publish Adventure Lab Location Check. And then you put in your locations. And then when they review it and say everything's all good, then you can go ahead and create that new Adventure Lab. And again, the guide will walk you straight through the process of what you need to do. What I did when I was out at Brightwater, taking pictures of my location, I would take a screenshot of my compass that shows the coordinate location so I could check that on Google Maps to make sure the final spot for the Adventure Lab is in the right area. Um, but I took notes here on you know, questions and things that I can put on for my adventure labs. And then I put them in Google Docs. Set up all my locations there. I've got the, uh, the title of it there. I've got the location that was verified on Google Maps. The description, the question that they need to answer. And then, of course, the answer. So I would just copy those, paste it, put it into the adventure lab page. This way you don't have to sit there and retype everything made it so much easier to do this way. <laughs> it's really quick. Basically, you set up a title for your adventure lab, put in a nice current image to start it all off, put in a location there for it, and put in a nice little description explaining what it's about. And then you go ahead, update that. Once that's all updated, then you can go ahead and start putting in your locations. I was granted 10 spots for this adventure lab, so I used all 10 out there at Brightwater. And when you put the Adventure Lab locations in, it's pretty fairly easy and straightforward. You add a title, you add an image to it, your location area where they need to be to get the answer. There's a nice map where you can check and make sure it's all good. You put in your geofence. Then you go ahead and you put in your location description. You can put in the YouTube video there for, so you can have a nice little video description of the spot that you're in. You put in the question that they need to answer, and then you put in your code. Then you can go ahead and have a journal video at the end, you know, thanking them for completing that lab and maybe guiding them to the next lab if it's a linear adventure lab setup. You put in your finished image there so they have something cool to see at the end of it, and also put in your journal message at the end, thanking them for what they did and also maybe 
again guiding them to the next location if you have this set up on a linear adventure lab. You hit that update location, boom done. It's ready to go. It's all set and then you can go ahead and work on your next locations. Up here you'll see it says Adventure Lab is off, so it's not ready to go because I'm still testing it out here. Um, edit button in case you need to edit the main page. Test. Test is pretty cool because you click that, you'll have the option here where you can go ahead and send the link of this to a friend so this way they can go ahead and try the Adventure Lab out ahead of time before it goes live. And also you can test it out as well too. You take a picture of the QR code there, it launches the Adventure Lab Ash, you can then go out answer the questions, test it out, make sure it's working good. And then you have your leaderboard just to kind of see how well it's rated. It's not active yet, so be interesting to see how these numbers change as people start checking this thing out. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of time and patience to put a lab cache together. So hopefully that video there will help the winner of this lab cache contest figure out what it is that they need to do to get it put together and active. And now, the time that you're waiting for, the winner of this lab cash contest. I received three entries to this contest, one by Geo Rick down in New Zealand, and another one from Brent up in Canada, and a third one from Geo Jerry down in southern Washington. It was tough looking through all of their entries and stuff that they had to uh, pick a winner. But after watching Geo Rick's video multiple times, it's like, I've got to go with him. Geo Rick, you're the winner of this contest. I mean, everybody, take a look at this video entry that he submitted for his, uh, for his entry into the lab cache. He put a lot of time into this thing. It's, it's, it's as great as one of his actual videos. Hi, Koma Kino and the kid. We're at a great location for an adventure lab cache. Come and have a look and see why it's such a good place to place one. Out on the farmland around the town of Pukekohe is a small wooden country church. This beautiful church was the scene of a battle during the New Zealand Wars. Local farmers had begun fortifying the church when a 200 strong Ngāti Maniapoto war party attacked. 17 settlers held them off all morning until British troops came to their rescue. You can still see bullet holes in the walls of the church. One of the headstones was hit with musket fire. Lynn is walking along the remains of a trench dug to strengthen the position. Some of the settlers who fought here are also buried in the church's graveyard. Some of the Māori dead are buried here too, under this monument. The church sits on the crater rim of an extinct volcano. Well that brings us to the end of our look around. We hope you found it interesting. Thanks for your consideration. If you haven't watched any of his geocaching videos, I would recommend going to Geo Rick's channel right now and watching his stuff. Set him up as your favorite there, uh, put him on your watch list, watch his videos. He and his wife put a lot of time and effort into their videos. I mean, if there was ever a geocaching vlogger out there who deserved his own travel show, where they travel the world and then featured the geocaches that they find, it's him. He, he, he deserves his own show. You hear me there, Travel Channel? Give him his own show. But I felt bad knowing that two other people that submitted for this contest wouldn't win. So I got in contact with Geocaching Headquarters, the person who was giving me these uh, adventure labs, and I asked, could I possibly get another one? And they said, yes. So we have another one to give away. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and see if I can find the person who's going to find my snag the tag hide today and watch them and film them as they find the tag and after they find it i'm going to have them choose the second place winner who also gets a lab cache so i'm not only giving away one but i'm giving away two lab caches in this video pretty cool huh so this go out 
wait for that person to show up to find that snag the tag tag that I had and to see if they can go ahead and choose second place winner. Because what I have is I have their names, I've got Jerry and Brent, I have their names written down on these pieces of paper. I'm going to put it into this ammo can and have them choose the second place winner gets their own lab cash. There you go. You got it. Oh, your phone, your phone, your phone, your phone. <laughs> and there you go. You got the you got the brain tag. Yeah. Yay, congrats. Hey, thank you. Thank No, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for the film. Great film. And here we go. I've got Jerry and Brent's name written down on these papers here. Brent's number one and Jerry's number two. So what I'm going to do here, their names in the ammo can, shaking it up. Now, just to show that I'm not gonna throw this event in any way, shape, or form, <laughs> I'm gonna have Late Trap reach in and pull out the second place winner that gets a lab cache. Wow, I'm just giving lab caches away like crazy today. <laughs> you want a lab cache one of these days? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe you'll get a lab I'll swish it around. Maybe you'll get a lab cache one of these days here. Okay, but don't look, don't look in, don't look in, don't. I can't find the paper. Oh, wow. There it is. Okay, you're okay. right. And the second place winner who gets a lab cache is one. Number one. Brent! 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 You get a lab cash too! How about that? Awesome. Thank you, Late Trap, for bet. making that drawing. Enjoy it. And thanks for finding that snag the tag tag. You bet. Tag. Thank you. Tag. Thanks for the video. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> and again, congratulations to the winners. Thank you, Geo Rick, Brent, Sim Rebel, and Geo Jerry for entering into this contest. I wish I had three to give away because I <laughs> I think you all deserve them. Congratulations to you, Geo Rick, for your awesome video that you sent in. That really won me over with that. So uh, thank you for sending in such a high quality piece of video for the submission on that. And Simro, I know you had a lot of cool locations there set up uh, from all those pictures that you showed me there. And I hope that you're going to put this lab cache to some good use. And Jerry, the park that you showed was awesome. It was great. Um, hopefully one of these days, if they have another big round of Adventure Labs to give out, you will get chosen for that location because that looked pretty cool. And also looks like it's a fun place to play Pokemon Go in. <laughs> Again, thank you all that uh, submitted, the three of you there. Thanks for continuing to watch my videos here. And as always, cash on.